Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russell here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again, you know that, don't you? Because that's why you're watching. Because if you didn't think I were, you wouldn't be watching. You'd be hating on me. Uh, today I'm joined by Scott from... Where are you from, Scott? London. Is it Walton on Thames? Kingston. Kingston upon Thames. Uh, how are you, Scott? Are you all right? Yeah, not too bad, Ross. Thanks for having me on, mate. No problem. What's, what's been, uh, what, what's been, what, what, what's been happening boxing the last month? What is it's it's turning into the WWF, isn't it? Where it's it's oh, I can't I don't even know what I'm watching sometimes. It's unbelievable. All these IFL interviews and um yeah, I just want to touch on touch on a few things first. Billy yeah. Joe Saunders, the yeah. silence, the silence. I'll tell you what, if you didn't watch that fight yourself, you wouldn't have thought it would have happened, would you? No. The media, uh, IFL, no coverage, no interviews, all the other boxing social, you would have never thought it would have happened that fight. The white dice are like cover up. What they've done, they've shut it down, haven't they? Uh, that's what they do, don't they? This is what happens with media. It's like all this with Fury, Tyson Fury, all with this Palestine stuff and all other rubbish and pure lies because the man's got a problem with truth, hasn't he? All the rubbish he comes out with because he's MCK, you're just going to get swept away, won't it? Nobody dare report on it, do they? No. No, no, ice, no ice scan yet of the injury. Nothing. Just, nothing. Just a massive cover up, it seems. Well, them sort, of, um, them sort of people. Anything they say, I don't, I don't buy into it anyway, because they're just, they're just they're not normal, are they? So I just don't believe it. So let show me an, show me an X-ray, and I'll say, yeah, his eyes, his eye were done. We all seen Kel Brook's X-rays, didn't we? Where's Billy's? Which, yeah, this league. Well, like you said, Tyson Fury. He's. I think we've got another, another Tony Bellew on our hands. I oh. think. <laughs> Do you mean we uh, wanted to be needing his media fix every single day, doing something controversial every day? It's, it's getting beyond a joke, Russ. It's yeah. actually getting... He's a, you're a boxer at the end of the day. You're not... Do that after your career's finished, if you want to do stuff like that. Like He's got a fight coming up with Wilder. You should be focusing on that. Because all this Joshua fiasco, what a load of crap that was. You did say it. You did say it. Ages ago, it's never going to happen. No. But it's just, it's it's unbelievable. It's literally like the rest, it's going like the wrestling. Boxing is going like wrestling. We know he's done a bit of that. Um, he needed that little fix as well. But hmm. he's just, he's, he's out of control. He's out of control. I'm not, it's unbelievable. See him flouncing around Miami like he's, you know, it's with Tommy Fury. He's got another great opponent coming up. Um, but no, yeah, it's just they're out of control at the minute. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Out, no. Um, with Boatsy, another another one we got. I, well, he's just beat a guy who had. Well, I don't know what they're talking. He beat a guy who was fifteen and zero, and he only had two wins over guys with winning records, and they were like really poor winning records. You know, you know what I mean? Like just, only just winning records. But yeah, he's world ranked number two at WBA. That guy he fought could have ended up on the slab, couldn't mm. he? Quite easily. Mm. But, but yeah, you look. You look at. Um, I think he gets outmanned by everyone at light heavy. Yeah. Callum Johnston are outmanned. He looks like totally different weight classes. Yeah. You put him in there with Callum Johnston, he's, he won't be able to handle the power. I think anyone, Bivol, Baturbiev, they're all they're all hurt him. I think because I just don't think he's big. He's not he's not big at that weight, is he? He don't look. He's no. more of a super middleweight, I'd say. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and then we go on to this week's fight, that this tonight's fight, that no coverage, undisputed, no coverage whatsoever. Taylor versus Ramirez. Um. I think Taylor wins. Um, I think he's just a little bit better. 
bit better boxer and a bit bigger than Ramirez, so I think he should win. But the only concern I've got is uh, they boxer size Ben in the corner. He's more. He's probably more worried about what's going on with Billy Joe Saunders and all the interviews. But I think if he had Shane McGuigan in the corner, I think he, he wins it hands down easily. How do you see it going, Ross? Well, I got up this morning about an hour ago and I looked at it all. People had sent me screenshots, some of my close pals, and there were Ben Davidson with the middle of them and they looked like they were, they were going to be a bit of intense beef. So, so, so Ben's in the middle and when have, you, when have you ever seen a trainer in the middle of two fighters I've never seen that no. Ben likes to exert himself into every trending story doesn't he, he thinks it's about him uh, another person out there is that uh, we don't know his name because he's the man with no name isn't he but he's calling himself at the moment Dean White he's out there doing interview after interview after interview, hula hooping anybody who's got a camera. That's pretty embarrassing as well. Dean Canelo. That's, that's Dean Alvarez. That's the new one. That's... No, no. After tonight, it'll be Dean Ramirez. That's what I was... What else I was going to say? Why is... Why have no UK board? Why is it on no UK broadcaster? His last fight was on BT Sports. What's happened there? I don't know. Why is it not on BT or anything? But his last fight against a nobody was, and this is for the uh, all the bouts, all the marbles. Mm. That's other. Oh, it's, it's it's crazy, isn't it? In a minute. Yeah. Um. What else we got? You sick, Joshua. Do you reckon it happens? No, I think Joshua vacates. That's what I think happens. Well, it's, it's, it's a hard night's work, isn't it? It's a hard night's work. I always look at uh, it like this. I always look at it like this, Scott. Whatever these people say, and listen, I used to be a Tyson Fury fan, but look. <laughs> I'm not going to put him on billboards. If I, it, uh, but whatever anybody says, I go opposite way, but once they start telling me lies, I don't believe anything else they say after that. It's no good, is it? Because you don't need to lie in there. So like, why not speak the truth and just say, look, we don't, Joshua might fancy you, say, Eddie Hearn don't fancy it. McCracken don't fancy it. They don't fancy it for the simple reason. It's an hard night for Joshua. He saw what happened with Andy Ruiz. And Ruiz won't be able to, to lace uh, Usyk's boot. So that's an hard night for Joshua. And if he fights Usyk, you can forget all the Fury shenanigans with Joshua. But what I think will happen is, if Usyk beats him, Eddie Earl will say, well, Joshua, uh, Fury fights always out there for Joshua. But I don't look at it like this. The way I see it is this. They'll vacate. This is what I'm... I'm just going against the grain. I think they'll vacate and Eddie Hearn will say, it ain't about belts no more. That's what they'll say. It's about personalities, entertainment, and who the fans know the best. That's what they'll do. I'm telling you now. You might end up seeing Joshua uh, fighting Fury, but it won't be from this spew. There won't be all belts online. Because the, the, the politics around boxing, they never allow you to have that. In all the years that boxing has been going, in recent years, since we've had four belts, there's only a handful of fights where we've had that somebody's held them all in. Is it Bernard Hopkins, Jermaine Taylor, Crawford, and there's somebody else in there who, who I mentioned yesterday, but I've not woke up yet and I can't remember. But is it Lomachenko? I'm not sure, but I know. Who's sick? Oh, sick, that's it. Oh, sick, Crawford, Jermaine Taylor, and Bernard Hopkins. So we've just had four people, and they didn't hold them for that long. The politics don't allow you to, 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 to be undisputed. So all this undisputed talk, it's just rubbish. It's just lip service paid to us by promoters and TV people. It's about undisputed. In, it's about readies, ready cash. That's why we all do what we do in, in this world, readies. 
readies on the hip, cash. We like nice things, we like to buy nice things. You buy nice things, you got to go to work. Somebody you would have worked for £500 a week, somebody offers you the same job, £1,000 a week, tata at 500 man, isn't it? And it's the same with these. They were willing to haul themselves out to Saudi again in a country with all that, all that what goes on in that country. We're not going to go into human rights and all that. And the promoters and TV people were willing to haul themselves out for it, just like the same people hoard themselves out for these YouTube fights and just put their heads in the sand. Horse boxing makes people reach inside you, reach inside you, mate. You've never seen anything like it, but people are drawn to it. I don't know why. People who want to invest in boxing, they want to hang around these sort of people, knowing they're getting shafted, but in the meantime, they're getting the face on TV, aren't they? That's what happens. Yeah. Whores, mate, whores. A bit like Michelle Phelps. <laughs> I, 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 I can see how I'm going to be ready to count. I can't understand the word, Joshua, mate. though. So I can't see that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quite... Let me stop you. You sound like you're fucking underwater, mate. What, what are you doing? Scott, oh, you sound... Mic. I don't know if it's Hello? Yeah. Earth calling Scott. Beam me up, you're Scotty. <laughs> Is that beam, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> I, 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 can, I, can, I can see him I can see him cashing out Ross and Joshua yeah doing yeah. his design and match you don't know what you don't know what's happening do you nah um, you don't think this is what's wrong with boxing let me just tell you a little scenario they're all saying oh, so it's going to fight Joshua so let's say he does fight him mm-hmm. that is called a mandatory in the mandatory, in the rules, there's no rematches. Because what's the point in having mandatories if we're just going to have rematches? No matter as well just have rankings 1 to 15 and, and not a ranking. Not a mandatory ranking. Because you get to number one, then you've got it mandatory, don't you? But the point I want to make is this. Usyk beats Joshua, in my opinion, yeah? Then there'll be a rematch, won't there? But why, why can that be when it's a mandatory? So... Who's at fault? Is it the, the organisations or the promoters? I think it's both because the tail's wagging dog. The promoters are using these sanctioning bodies and the TV people know it's all going on now. Usyk should be able to beat Joshua and then go fight Fury if he wants in a massive fight, shouldn't he? Because they'd both be undefeated. But you don't think Eddie Hearn's going to let that happen. He's going to have a contract there where they're all tied down. If Usyk wins, then they've got to do it again. And that's just how bad it is. And then he'll come out and say, oh, it's, it's massive rematch now. It's bigger than anything. It's the biggest fight in boxing. Look. But what's happening is you've got Eddie Hearn. He's got all these platforms. None of these YouTubers are asking Eddie Hearn, Eddie, uh, how come there's a rematch for Usyk fight when it's a mandatory? Don't you think that's disrespectful to the sport? But the WBO are allowing it, aren't they? It shouldn't be allowed. What's the point in having managers and working your way up through the rankings if when you get there, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it, you've got to have a rematch. Sorry, if you, when you get there, somebody's in front of you, sorry, and they're having, the, the champion's having a rematch because he's lost. What's the point in managers? I don't get it. Yeah, well, that, that you, well you've got people minding that um, Deontay Wilder and all this court case, but, but if he step if he steps aside, he's going to be out of the ring for another two years. Exactly. But no, one, but no one was moaning when Joshua was having the rematch with, with Ruiz, was they? No one was moaning. Nobody was moaning whatsoever. But I don't think that one the managers though, were it? What? Um, I think they just went down rank, for rankings for Ruiz. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that. I'm not sure. I don't think Louise what mandatory, but I'm not sure. But the point I want to make is your problems, your, your promoters, they're the problem. Because they're, yeah. they're, they're the guys who they're, they're controlling the fighters, aren't they? And they're controlling it all. They're protected by security. So you can't say it to them. If I wanted to go to show up here at Sheffield and drench Eddie Earn in a drink, which more than likely, if I saw him at an after party, I would drench him in a drink. 
security don't make me know to me. I'll get somebody to film it and I've got what I want then. I would drown him like the rat he is. Do you know what I mean? But these promoters are the problems. And then you've got the YouTubers. Like, we know, I don't need to name these people. Because they're all spineless. But these people are the problem because they're not putting it on these people. For example, I didn't see one YouTuber interview Billy Joe. Sorry, interview anybody and say, well, I thought Billy Joe quit. Not one of them. But I know two of them, these so-called YouTubers, who are telling people I know, and I've even heard voice texts saying they thought he quit. So my pal said, well, why didn't you say that when you interviewed so-and-so and so-and-so? You know, oh, I've got to work with them. So the narratives all lies anyway. Do you see where I'm coming from? So everything I'm saying is true. But at least I've got the front to come out here and say it in front of a camera. Do you know what I mean? I'll tell you somebody else who calls it right. That the YB he calls it right, but he's behind camera. Ultra Tech Boxing, he calls it correct. He's behind the camera, isn't he? The po podcast lands on asylum. They call it correct. Rico, my friend, does. Terry Chapman Dharma on his podcast. They all call it correctly, but they're behind the camera, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. It's just like this. Just like a massive. It seems like, seems to be like a massive cover up with that fight, doesn't it? Seems like it'd be a no go area. Yeah, my mate Rico around so, it. I don't yeah. know, so, so, my mate Rico. He's in front of the camera. Simon and all the lads who come on here. Boom. Yeah. Or everybody who comes on here is my peers. You don't have to agree with me, but it takes balls to sit in front of the camera and put yourself out there to the boxing world because it's full of bullies, right? But. I've more or less worked them all out in, in my period in boxing. We went over with Edison. I worked them all out. All bark and no bite. Nobody's got no gojones. Nobody, mate. None of them. 97% shit houses. But well done for coming on here and having an opinion. I hope you don't get as much grief as what I get because mine's full on day, daily, every day, mate. I don't believe it. But it's, it's become, become laughable now, so I don't used to get revved up about it. You know, when I don't get any, I'm thinking, God. What's going on here? <laughs> but no, uh, boxing, talk of the devil. <laughs> yeah, boxing needs to change for the better, I think. And mm. we need to start with a new organization in this country, Border Control. They've got to go. And these these sanctioning bodies like the WBA, they need to have a good look at this. The WBA and WBO, what's going on with them? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, but at least we, well, you've got, we've got, a Hennessy show tonight as well, Channel 5. Not the best card, but I suppose it's, it's another option, isn't it, instead of BT and Sky? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, at least it's... Yeah, I suppose it is, isn't it? It's something else to watch. Yeah, it is. It's... Uh... It's, it's who's on mix show tonight? Oh, that's Eggington versus Molina, and there's a few. Um, I think there's a few sp um, prospects on it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not not the greatest, but like I said, it's it's a different, it's another option, hopefully, rather than Sky and BT. Yeah. Because you don't know what's going on, do you, with them two? Eggington, no. Molina. Some Mexican. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Carlos Molina. I think so. Yeah. Um, oh, is that more for I mean, Carlos? Is it Carlos Molina? Uh, have you got your box? Have you got your box? I'm not from here? too sure. I'm doing it all on my phone, Ross. I don't know if it switch you off. Go on, then. Have a, have a quick look. I'm not too sure. I'm not. I don't think. Oh, it yeah, is. so he's taking to Molina then. All right then. Who else is on there? Who else um, is on it? I'm not too sure. They're, like I said, few few Pardon? prospects, but I've never really heard of them. Yeah. I said it's a few prospects, but I've never really heard of them. Yeah. Uh, what do you think no, is going to? What do you think is going to happen with uh, the Sky pundits? Then you know, Mr. B. Nelson and all the rest of the Bean Masons. Where do you think they're going to head now then? Where you've out Eddie Hearn uh, running the ship, running the show. I think it's too. Uh, 
I think it's all over for him, Russ. Yeah. I think it's all over. You've heard well, from Hearn himself. Did... Go on, Russ, sorry. Yeah, yeah, they've had a good run now, haven't they? All of them have they had can't a good moan. run. They can't moan. Yeah, like, you, you, like I, was, I said, you've got... Hearn said he's going to change it all, so I believe he will. Um, I can't see Nelson going over to the zone um, or Bean. It's over for Bean. Skid Row. Yeah, Bean, and your laptop in your own. And... <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? Bean! Sends me crazy, Bean. <laughs> no, another thing that I've just I've noticed, the match room... The matchroom stable, um, you always seem to get the same old crap wheeled out, didn't you? Yeah. Chisora, who you've seen more times than Liam Smith or mm-hmm. Callum Johnson when he was with matchroom. Yeah. It's, you're just getting the same old crap out, aren't you? Chisora uh, with 10 losses. Chisora's 11 losses, I think, is he? Oh. I don't know, 10, 10 or 11 losses, has he? I think he's just, I think he's had 11 now, hasn't he, Derek? I, th- I, think, he's, I think he's got 11 losses. Uh, well, look, I've been told that Parker and Chisora are going to have a rematch on pay per view. So, but that could go on, if they're not, I don't want Sky, it could quite easily go on the zone. But who wants to see Parker, Chisora? They stunk the place out, mate. A pair of them. Smelly. And Parker's hanging around boxing like a like like a fly around shit. Why is he hanging around boxing, Parker? Is he trying to exert himself into scenarios so he's going to get on a Tyson Fury show? I don't know. But what I do know is I went up on my blinds in the morning to watch Joseph, the stinkinator Parker from New Zealand. I used to jog on back where he's come from because I'm sick of seeing him, mate. You can't string a sentence together. And I know people around here who are pub dumb and they would fill him in on the spot. Do you know what I mean? So that's how I looked at it anyway. How's that? How's it pay per view though, right? How are we paying? How have we got Taylor Ramirez? Can't even get on a UK broadcaster, but Chisora and Parker, too. Well, both of them are pay per view. Well, in my opinion, they're not going to have. Rim, uh, Josh Taylor on Sky because of his links to MTK. That's what I think. It looks to me like Eddie Earn uh, towards the end of his tenure with Sky and looks like Sky looks like they're distancing himself from MTK. But then again, who's to say that MTK are not going to get Sky dates because all these people are whores anyway at Sky. They're not bothered about M- MTK having, having this reputation because boxing's always been surrounded by this big... Heavy num, heavy duty people involved number and all that, and well, this big Hollywood number, as Frank Warren says. But so I don't think that'll bother Sky. Sky are in the in the business of making money, and what why why and who's to say that Sky don't? Well, I know Sky don't give a shit anyway because they're putting on uh, Mayweather versus Paul, aren't they? On on pay per view, aren't they? The YouTube kid. Against yeah. Mayweather, so if they could put that on, and they could feed, and they could charge us for Chisora Parker on pay per view, cheers. Do you know what I mean? So it's going from bad to worse, but it needs an over, it needs an overall, and all this sooner or later is going to sooner or later people are going to walk away. I know generations of people my age who don't even watch boxing no more because they don't like how it's heading. I know former world champions who don't watch boxing because they're like, what, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, like I said, it's becoming like WWF, isn't it? It's all, what? The, all that, like the WWE, like all these, like the wrestling, all Eddie Hearn and these announcements. There was yeah. no way that fight was going to happen. No way. There's no way that fight yeah. was happening. Yeah. That, surely, hey, I said they must have known that. Surely, that that they had that court case, and they're still trying to make that fight announcement after announcement. Fights off now, 
what is it? I just I don't get it anymore. Oh, no. It's crazy. Oh, no. uh, what else would you like? Crazy, to... mate. What else would you like to talk about, Scott? Uh, we got Daniel Jabbar joining up with Shane McGuigan. Do you yeah. think that's a good move? Uh, it's, 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 it's possibly a good trainer, up and coming trainer. So yeah, probably is yeah. Probably is yeah. But oh, yeah, have... I hope he can. Sorry, that's gone. No, I don't know who else he could have he could have worked with down there because it's, it'd have to be a London based trainer, wouldn't it? So. Mm. I don't know, but I know that uh, his dad gets involved in a lot of people's business, doesn't he? His dad's pretty hands-on. Mm. Parents should stay out at gym when the kid's good at gym. Should stay out of the way. I mean, I've heard these stories about his dad up here at EIS getting involved, speaking to coaches and that, because his daughter's supposed to be going to be a big star up here. But uh, we'll see, won't we, how it goes. But I wish Daniel DeBart all the best. He seems a nice kid, doesn't he? Yeah. Could you imagine being stuck on an aeroplane with him? I mean, I've been I've been stuck on an aeroplane five five hours sat next to Yui Fury. The only thing worse than that would have been Dubois on the other side, because nobody would have spoke. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So nobody would have said a word, would they? So I don't know. I'd like to see Yui fight Daniel Dubois. I think that's a good fight, but I don't think Peter and Mick Hennessy would take that because Daniel's with Rick Top, isn't he? So, mm. but they're a similar age, aren't they? You was 26, he's what, 23? So, okie dokie. Oh, Anything else you'd like to add, young man? Uh, well, it's, it's just not looking good for us, is it? It's just not looking good. The future of the, the sport, is it, really? No. And the, the one. A man ruining it. You what? Four and no ice man. You sound like you're underwater, mate. I said the one man that's ruining it. Oh, it's, yeah. my, it's my Wi-Fi, mate. You hear me? It's better now. Yeah, yeah the, one, on, the one the one man ruining it. The one man ruining it. The four and no ice man. Who's that? A deals. Deals. Free by way off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okie dokie. Well, listen, thanks for coming on, Scott. You've been a real tonic and uh, second time this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, good man. How old are you? 26. 26. Uh, okay, then. Well, listen, we'll have you on again and uh, keep following the sport of boxing. And uh, next time, try and write 20 talking for 20 questions next time on. I'll give you quick answers to them, yeah? And keep it flowing, yeah? Yeah. If, you, if you're prepared... We're all right, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Okay, then. Right, thank you, Scott. All the best. No, have, a, have a great weekend. And you, mate. Cheers, mate. Bye. Take it easy. Bye, bye. bye. That was uh, Scott Garcia from uh, Kingston-upon-Thames in London. Uh, could you imagine being a chick Going on a on a on a blind date with Scott, that'd be that'd be a good one, it? Can you imagine conversation? <laughs> that'd be funny, wouldn't it? So it's only banter. Right then, I'm gonna get some graft done now. All right. So thank you for liking and subscribing, leaving a comment, and thank you to all those people who uh, joined the members area. I hope you like these extra videos that I'm giving you. Uh, so, okie dokie. All right, peace out.